Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Asheville. I'm Daniel Hi John. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, that kinda that kinda had a Jurassic Park vibe to it. Hi John. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, uh, we 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 broke our social distancing. You know, we're both vaccinated, so I, yeah. I finally got past my two weeks, so no more worries for us. Um uh, so that's one thing, but our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002. Their logo is up there, but unfortunately today our camera is not being nice to us, and it is now already almost 10.30 here as we are filming this, because we were going to go live, but, you know, tech and, well, you'll understand the other part as we get into it. Um, so, uh, we'll just get into it. Oh, but everybody, uh, please check out Hockey Locker's website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com or call them at 414-800-7585. Um, also, the Milwaukee Admirals are selling season tickets for the 2021-22 season. Uh, you can call them at 414-227-8585. Anyway, as we uh, fix all our tech issues here and me finding phone numbers, you can contact the Admiral's office at 414-227-0550. Um, also, the Nashville Predators have increased their uh, playoffs for all of you in Florida and in Milwaukee. You can try and get tickets. I don't know how well that will go for you, but right. you can try. Um, on Ticketmaster, type in Nashville Predators. All their tickets are being sold through Ticketmaster at the current moment. So, also, on our YouTube page, um, on the cover, there are links, and you can get to the ticket page for the Admirals from there. Um, also, on our YouTube page, you can click subscribe, hit that bell to get notified every time we upload a video. <laughs> anyway, the uh, Florida Everblades took on the former IHL team of the Orlando Solar Bears. The IHL was back in when we were kids, yep. and the Admirals were in that league, and we, yes, played, the they solar, were. we <laughs> played the Solar Bears quite a bit, and uh, for us, it's still fun to reminisce about our memories of the Solar Bears it and is. how cool their logo still is to this day. Right. You know, um, the Everblades have an awesome logo as well, but for us, when we were kids, the Solar Bears logo was like, whoa. One of the best out there at the time. That, it was them, uh, the Admirals, and the Detroit Vipers. You know, the Detroit Vipers are now defunct, but um, for those of you, um, a little bit of hockey knowledge. Um, anyway, shots on goal in the first period were 17-16 to 16 for Florida. 17-13, to 13, Florida in the second, 9-9 nine, nine even in the third. So, for those of you who can't do quick math, that's 43-38. to 38. Not that I'm trying to insult anybody. <laughs> 81 or 82 total shots. Yeah. All right, scoring in the first was Jerry Domingo for the Orlando Solar Bears at the 221 mark even strength goal with an assist from jo Joseph Garafia and Tyler Bird. Um, then scoring at the 1610 mark was Tyler Bird with an assist from Nolan Valu. Then scoring also 40 seconds later was Tristan Langen for the Orlando Solar Bears with an assist from Mark Onk and Michael Jolly. So three now they're going into the second. Solar Bears are pretty jolly. Yeah, at that time. Anyway, uh, then we come back 44 seconds in. Cole Sanford with an assist from Alex Kyle. <sighs> then this happened. Scoring at the 114 mark was Anthony Rapaci. With an assist from Kevin Lohan and Tristan Langan. Then scoring at the 318 mark was Aaron Luchuk with an assist from Alexander Kawhi. Kawhi. Then that was shorthanded, by the way, the uh, Aaron Luchuk goal. Uh, then Chris LeBlanc scored uh, unassisted at 559 of the second. Then in the third. Mark Onk scored with an assist from Aaron Luchuk and Tristan Langen. Then in the third, John McCarron scored with an assist from Marcus Vila. No Bob. I don't think so, Tim. 
<laughs> um, send all light mail too. <laughs> yeah, we're both big fans of home improvement. Sorry, you'll be seeing a lot of those here. Uh, then we had at the eight at the ten eighteen mark, Aaron Luchuk scored with an assist from Alan Rapacci or Anthony Rapacci. Alan Rapacci. Ha ah, Tim Allen. <laughs> uh, Tim Allen on the brain now. Might go watch the Santa Claus. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Anthony Rapace and Tristan Langan at the 10-18 mark. Then at the 13-57 mark, Miles Powell scored with an assist from Joe Pendenza. Um, and Zenza, Powell, and McCarron seem to be rolling here lately. Yeah. Um, final is 8-3. to three. Stat sheet. Because, you know, I'm going to have to go into the stats a bit here. Goaltender for Orlando was Clint Windsor. He stopped 40 at 43 with a 30, or sorry, 93.023 save percentage. Versus Devin Cooley was the starter. He stopped 13 of 18 with a 72.222 save percentage. Then they put in. Jake Hildebrand, who stopped uh, 17 to 20 with an 85 flat save percentage. Let's just put it this way for the Everblades. I have a crap list. Haven't had to bring it out in a while. Right. Well, I'm bringing it out tonight. Alrighty, guys. Who's on it? Colby Sissons, minus two. Alex Kyle, minus two. Stephon LeBlanc, minus two. Michael Hood's a breaker. Why? You're my favorite player on the team. <laughs> minus three. You're on the list tonight. For these two, you're at the top. Blake Winnicky, Blake Winnicky, minus four. You hit second place on that list. Number one is Logan Rowe. He is a minus five. The team equaled out for a minus 25. Oof. Versus a plus 24 for a goal differential that is awful. Yeah. Three stars of the game. Obviously, they're all Orlando. So, let's get it in. Uh, Kevin Lohan was the third star. Aaron Luchuk, I believe. No. Tristan Langan was the second star, and Aaron Luchuk was the first star. Um, Luchuk had two goals. Tristan Langan had a goal and three assists. Luchuk had a goal, two goals, assist. So two goals and an assist. And Langan maybe may have earned it more, but... Anyway, at the Amway Center, the attendance was 2,250. Sounds like a Tuesday night in Milwaukee. Hmm. Uh, your line, your referee was Sean McFarley. Or McFarlane. Uh, linesmen were Killian McNamara and Charlie O'Connor. <sighs> the Everblades in the league currently sit third in the standings. In the conference, they're still in first place. Not by much. Greensville is creeping up. You know. But they keep losing in overtime. Not helping no. them at all. The Indy Fuel have fallen off horribly. They were at the top of the division at one point in time. Right. Then Florida took over, and that changed everything. So with that being said, that is all we got for you for tonight with the Florida Everblades. We have an Admirals alum video coming for all the Admirals that are coming out to the uh, the Cup playoffs this year. Right. So that is coming as well tonight. So see you guys later.